Yeah, it makes a huge difference how you define the subsidy. So it's important to get those definitions right. Um, in the report, we, we go through those different definitions and the basic one, which is how def subsidies were defined for quite a long time, was just looking at consumer subsidies, basically. And it's how subsidies are often done, particularly in developing countries, where governments want to make um, energy products cheaper for consumers because it's, it's a popular sort of policy decision. Um, and that can aff affect, um, for example, petrol and diesel prices. It can affect um, cooking, um, LPG for cooking and so on. Um, and effectively what you're measuring there is the price of the fuel compared to the, the global market price. So it's very easy to tell you know, in a particular country if, if the price of um, petrol is lower than the uh, going rate, then that's a, that's a clear measure of the subsidy. Um, but what that misses out is the subsidies to the producers. And uh, so it's only a very partial view um, subsidies to producers tend not to show up in the overall global price, or it's, at least it's very hard to uh, measure the, the, the effect of a particular subsidy to the global price because it's going to have very little impact. So it doesn't show up in that price, what's called the price gap um, methodology. So other um, organisations, the OECD in particular, started to look at much more specific um, producer subsidies. And for that, you have to go into the detail of, of national uh, tax regimes uh, for the oil and gas sector, etc. And it's quite a detailed sort of a, a study. Um, other organisations have then gone beyond that. So the IMF has defined subsidies as including lack of including externalities. And that's really interesting because basically what they're saying is that the new normal should be to include, for example, carbon prices and carbon taxes into the price of the fuel so that, the, uh, so that you're paying for the, the external environmental damages and so on within the price of that fuel. Um, and if that's not priced in, then that's counted as a subsidy. So that's really changing the game in, in terms of subsidy definition.